Hello everyone, my name is Christina Guzvi and I'm an alumni here at CSU LB. You're now tuning into 23 and graduating. Coming in as a freshman, I entered as a pre-nursing major, but a week later I changed it to child development because I was unsure if I would be able to handle athletics and being a student at the same time. When I changed my major to child development, it was easier but later on, I felt that this wasn't the dream that I wanted to pursue. So I changed it again to health science. When I changed it to health science, I knew that this was the route I wanted to take. And I knew that this is going to get me to where I want to be later on in life. My very first semester of being a college student, I was also a track athlete that was in love with the sport. I trained really hard because I wanted to be great, not knowing that that same semester I would be cut. That was discouraging, but it didn't stop me from following my dreams. The next year, a phenomenal woman and coach, Latanya Sheffield, allowed me to come back on the team. Battling injuries and still having to compete, I was successful in my junior season. Excited for my senior year, I competed in many events, but the month before it was all going to end, I realized my passion for this sport had expired and other opportunities persisted. My ultimate goal is to become a physician assistant, but right now I am currently taking a risk and adjusting to being an adult. A couple of friends and I started an event planning business called Quest Events, Queens Who Stand Together. We did this because we did not want to work a nine to five. We don't want to be like everyone else in society and just go out and get a regular job, a job that we just didn't want to work at and were we're unhappy with. So we decided to do our own business because of stability reasons. Yes, I mentioned that I want to be a physician assistant, but I also want to have my own job on the side. So if things turn left, then I can go right and I can succeed on my own. The women who inspired me are Michelle Obama, Oprah, Gabrielle Union, the women who went out and made a way for themselves. Two incoming freshmen, you will fail, but it's up to you to get back up and keep going. Look at Tyler Perry, he failed seven times, but on his eighth try, he was successful. And just like him, we can do the same thing too. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of 23 and Graduated. My name is Kayla Goosby and I'm alumni here at Cal State Long Beach. I majored in healthcare administration and was a track and field athlete. During the month of May, I found out that I had officially got accepted to study abroad in Glasgow, Scotland. When I first told my parents about this, they were a little bit apprehensive about me going away, but I reassured them that I was going to be okay. Um, when I decided, when I first decided that I wanted to study abroad, I knew it was something that I had to do. Why? Because growing up, I was always next to my twin. It was always me and my twin sister. Everything we did from academics to majoring in the same thing to athletics to running the same exact race. This, this journey that I was going to partake in allowed me to see the world through my own lens, finally for the first time in my life. This was such an amazing experience. When I actually departed from Glasgow, I cried like a baby and I know all of my friends can vouch for me when I say that. Um, but one thing I would like to say is for everyone who's considering studying abroad, I'll say just go for it. Like you have nothing to lose. Growing up, athletics was always a part of my life. You see, in high school when I became a freshman, I ran track because I didn't want to do PE. But over time, track and field became a part of me. It allowed me to compete. And so when I got to college, I was like, or I thought to myself, yes, this is something that I would want to do. This is something that I would want to do for the next four years of my life. I wanted to dedicate my time and I wanted to be committed. I wanted to be committed because I liked the idea of being challenged. I was a sprinter who ran the 100 and 200 meters. And during this time, throughout my entire four years, I always finished. And when you finish a race, it's the same as if you finish another obstacle in life. So for future generations or for future student athletes who want to become collegiate athletes, the best advice I could give you is to always push yourself, to always challenge yourself. Track and field gave me that opportunity to be challenged, to push myself, to go through, to persevere throughout any hardship. And when times get rough, to lean on your teammates for advice because you're not the only one that's going through this. I'm sure there's someone else along the side of you that's also going through it as well. 
Life is about never giving up, never stopping because you couldn't finish the race. This was just a hurdle that I had to get over. So for the next generation or incoming student athletes, one thing I would have to tell you guys is that don't get up, don't give up despite any turmoil. Don't give up because you can't do it anymore. Push yourself to the next limit. Push yourself. Just continue to push and push and push until you no longer can push. Skip the introduction, pardon interruption, blowing up, combustion, building myself up like I'm constructing. Yeah. Biggest thing that you ever seen, have you ever seen? A young nip tugging in.